How's it going guys? In today's tutorial we're going to be going over how we can create a copy to clipboard sort of function in your application and we're also going to be showing you how to paste from the clipboard. And this is very important if you have some text that you want the user to copy and this can be from a notes app, from a news app and so on. We just want to simplify it for the user. So for example inside here we can go ahead and type in cats have hats and we can go ahead and copy it to the clipboard. It's going to say copied and now if we want to paste it from the clipboard we can either long click and click on paste or we can also programmatically paste it in. So here if we tap on paste it's going to paste it back in and the benefit of doing this is that if we go to Safari we can go ahead and search for something. So inside here I'm just going to click on paste and it's going to say cats have hats and if we tap on enter it's going to take us to the page we wanted to. Although here it wants me to log in first we just accept and then it'll say 10 cats have hats. So it's a very useful function to be able to actually copy pieces of information from the application. We can even make this longer if we want. If we copy it to the clipboard, we can paste it anywhere we want. So for example, here in the search bar, we could say cats have hats, and we can tap enter. And that's going to be part of the clipboard now, so we can use that anywhere. So it's a very simple application and it's really useful for many contexts and that's why I want to show it to you guys. So let's get started immediately by creating a new empty project in Xcode. And the first thing we'll take care of is the at state variables. So at state private var text, which will be of type string at state private var button text, because we want to change that as well of type string is going to equal an empty string. Then we need to go ahead and create that clipboard. So here we're going to go ahead and type in private let pasteboard and that's going to equal the UI pasteboard. And we're going to pick on general and general just means that it can be copied to any application. As time goes on, you might want it only to be copied to specific apps. So you would get rid of general and you would specify your own app IDs. But for this example, we want to make sure we can copy it to any application, including Safari. So next we need to go ahead and create the UI. So vStack, just to get it started. And it's going to hold a text field that says insert text here. And it's going to be bound to the text variable of text. And we can close this sidebar. So we have some more space and it's going to have a text field style of rounded border. And let's give this VStack some padding. So as you can see, we have this text field here. So now we can freely edit the text we want to copy and paste. Next, I want to go ahead and create the placeholders for the functions. So function paste is going to be our first function, which takes care of pasting the content. And another function that's called copy to clipboard. And I want this to be a lowercase two. And we're just going to leave them empty for the time being because I want to model the UI first and then take care of the functionality. So now we can go ahead and get started with the buttons. So here we have to create an H stack with a button that has only one function, which is copy the clipboard and it needs a label. And the label is going to be a label that has the label of button text because that's going to change from copy to clipboard to copied and then it's going to change back to copy to clipboard just so the user knows that what they copied has actually been copied. So after that we need to go ahead and provide a system image which is going to be doc on doc fill and as you can see right here it is quite empty and that's because the button text is supposed to initially say copy to clipboard. So that will take care of the first button. Then we can go ahead and create a spacer and we can just copy the first button and paste it right under because the functionality is not going to be that different. But for this one, we need to go ahead and change it to paste and it's not going to say button text, but it's going to say paste and the button image is going to be set to doc.on.clipboard. And we want to give this whole button a tint of dot orange. And then of course, remove this extra parentheses. So now we have a button that copies and a button that pastes. And let's go ahead and take care of the functionality because the first button, of course, needs to copy the text to the clipboard and the second button needs to paste it from the clipboard. So we're going to start with the copy to clipboard because that's more important to get started. And it's actually very, very simple. All we have to do is call the pasteboard 
dot string and this is going to define the string we want to attach to the clipboard so inside here we can go ahead and say it's going to be equal to self dot text which is the text variable that's bound to the edit text so you can make this any text you want it doesn't have to be the same text it can be any processed string that you want to copy to the clipboard. Then when they copy it, we want to call self.text and set it to nothing so that we have an empty space to either paste new text or to just write new text from the beginning. And as we tap on the copy button, we also want to go ahead and assign to button text the value of copied. So the user knows that we've tapped on that button. And we also want that button to turn back to the original state over the course of one second. So we're going to go ahead and call dispatchQ.main.AsyncAfter and it's going to take a deadline, which is going to be dot now, which is the current time, plus 1.5 seconds. And we need to choose what we want to execute, which we're going to pass in as a closure. So inside here, the self dot button text is going to be set to what we had earlier, which is copy to clipboard. And just to test this functionality, you can go ahead and run this application inside your preview. And when you tap on copy to clipboard, it's going to say copied, and then it's going to change back to copy to clipboard. Just enough time to tell the user that we've actually done an action and that everything went according to plan. But now we need to go ahead and make sure we can use the paste functionality because here we actually copied it. Now we just need a way of pasting it so we can Pause that for now. And if you want to paste it programmatically, you're first going to have to check if it actually exists. So if let string equal pasteboard.string, so right now it's stored in there and it can be from any application, then we're going to say that the text is equal to the string. So you need to make sure that it's not nil. Otherwise, this is going to return to you an optional value. So you need to make sure you unwrap that before you even try to use it. But these were the only two functions we needed to make this application work. And as you can see, it was simple as calling pasteboard.string. So let's go ahead and rerun this application and test it out. So here, let's go ahead and test it by first tapping something interesting, such as this is some text. And we're going to copy it to the clipboard. Now it says copied, and we can even paste it. So when we click on paste, it's going to do that. And if we actually want to, we can go ahead and paste that in a different application. So here we can go ahead and paste it in Google if we want. So type in paste and it's going to say this is some text. And we can go back here. We can change this a bit. We can copy it to the clipboard or we can create an entirely new message such as this is a cat with a hat and copy it to the clipboard. And once again, if you want to paste it, tap on the paste button and it's going to be there once again. And it can be pasted anywhere you want. So go ahead and try it out. As you can see now we have it in the Google search. It was so easy to copy. So that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's video. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.